is, along with all of us, just as upset over what's happened to Ted DiBiase as anybody could be, but uh, hopefully we'll be getting some word back from the hospital very shortly. Well, that's true. You know, you, you sit up there and, and you wonder sometimes, you know, like Tommy Rich says, you knew that you're going to get injured in professional wrestling, but you, you never know how bad or, or how much it's going to affect you until it really happens. And I think right now everybody, like in the studio and myself and maybe everybody else in the wrestling dressing room is just kind of right in the pit of their stomach. They're going right now. They're saying, you know, what, what if it had happened to me? You know, and a couple of weeks ago it possibly could have happened to me. If it wasn't for Tommy Rich coming in to save me and Tommy Rich threw in the towel today, I mean, the man used great sense, used great common sense. Right now, you know, there's just kind of a a feeling inside of the pit of my stomach, you know, I just don't know how things like this are going to turn out. Well, there's certainly no question about it. We're going to have to wait and find out. Last week, and if I've had one phone call, I've had 10,000 during the past week, for us to take a look at Steve O. If, if a man ever got a number on the Mongolian stomper, this one did. If he ever caught the handle of this man, we evidenced it last week. And we saw, too, what I consider deliberate interference on the part of Don Carson, the stomper's manager, to save the stomper from losing the title to Steve O. So what I'd like to do in response to all of you who have called me and written me asking about that situation, I'd like to have Steve and I take a look at it along with you right now. Last week's match, uh, Steve O against the Mongolian stomper, the national title on the line. Gentlemen, this is a title match for the National Heavyweight Championship. One fall with total TV time remaining. Introducing first from Outer Mongolia, weighing it at 270 pounds, the National Heavyweight Champion, the Mongolian Stomper, accompanied by his manager, Don Carson. Introducing the challenger from Edina, Minnesota, weighing it at 230 pounds, Steve O. Well, here is something that... Uh Really ought to be quite a match indeed. The National Heavyweight Championship going on the line. The Mongolian Stomper defending against young Steve O. One fall with television time remaining. And uh, man. He's ready, Gordon. He's ready to go. Yeah, well, uh, that's Don Carson saying the Stomper's ready to go. I can assure you this. Steve O is also ready to go. Steve O reversing the arm whip catches the Stomper. Beautiful, beautiful high backdrop. And Steve O catches him with a drop kick. And the Stomper is outside the ring. The stomper outside the ring, and this has got to be a frustrated man. In the event that we have to uh, break away for uh, commercials, and should a pinfall or a submission occur during a commercial break, we will bring it to you on instant replay. We said, of course, we do have standby matches in the event it does not go the distance. Plus, as I said, if we're breaking away for a commercial, and anything should happen uh, during that commercial break, you will see it all, so don't worry about that. I believe Steve O's been off more than he can chew, Gordon Soli. Well, those are the comments of Don Carson. Steve O, a very confident young man and an outstanding wrestler, and obviously is not going to uh, bite out more than he can chew. Steve O up and over his man. Catches a stopper again, another beautiful flying drop kick and the stopper. Into a hip lock takedown, and so Steve O is carrying the battle to the national heavyweight champion. Carson pacing back and forth outside the ring, and it is uh, Steve O carrying the battle to the stomper. The stomper now trying to take a shortcut, grabbing the trunks of. Uh, Steve-O, the referee, Charlie Smith, watching him carefully. Steve-O keeping that side headlock. The stomper now. Side press to the uh, side of the jaw. Steve-O keeping the side headlock on the stomper. Tremendous opportunity for Steve-O, and you can hear the chant by the crowd here. Steve-O, Steve-O, they want steve -O. Wow! Steve-O caught a boot to the midsection, put him down to the canvas. A side souffle by uh, the stomper into it. Beautiful Gordon Soli, isn't that gorgeous? Now the man's on top of it. And once again, Don Carson. And Steve-O turns into his man, trying to escape from that side headlock, or the head scissors, rather. And it's Steve-O moving that head, getting some mobility now. Steve-O moving up on his man. 
Carson, a look of consternation on his face now. And Steve-O escapes from it, gets into the side headlock on the stopper. Again, the stopper gets the head scissors. One fall, in case you've tuned in a little bit late, one fall, television time remaining the National Heavyweight Championship on the line. Isn't that great, Gordon? Did you see that beautiful move there? Flipped him right back into that head scissor. Again, Mr. Carson adding his comments. Steve-O again trying to battle his way out of the head scissors. They are into the ropes, I believe the referee calling for the break. And Steve-O hooking those legs. Steve-O drives a foot into the chest of the stopper, retaliating in some kind for some of the abuse that he's taken. And for the first time, the stopper becoming somewhat reluctant. And so, it's becoming more and more obvious that the stopper and Mr. Carson had underestimated the uh, total capabilities of Steve-O. Good shoulder smash. Up and over his man. Steve-O rolls in behind him. A rolling over. Steve-O had one, two. And the stopper in trouble on the stopper. Backing away from Steve-O. And Steve-O now beginning to uncork with everything he's got. To a rear chin lock on the stopper. So Steve-O keeping the stopper under control. He is not under control yet, Gordon. This, he's just giving this guy a good match right here. And let me tell you something, the guy is going to explode. The Mongolian stopper is going to explode. And this might be it right here. Stopper ripping across the eyes of Steve-O. Now the stopper using the forearm very effectively. I told you, Gordon, I told you. Take a look at the man laying down on the mat right now. The stopper now using uh, the foot so very effectively, a lateral press. Steve-O powers out before the count of three, however. Steve-O having his problems in the stopper now, smashing Steve-O into the turnbuckle. And Steve-O is going to have to shake those cobwebs free. the ropes. Caught him again in the midsection, and Steve-O battling back. Steve-O now fighting fire with fire. Steve-O brings him up. Beautiful atomic knee drop by Steve-O. Steve-O in with a lateral press. was pulling the leg of the stopper. Steve-O after uh, Carson in. The stopper charged Clark Carson. Steve-O in behind his man. Has him in a rolling reverse. There's the count, one. Wait a minute. Carson started to come into the ring. He's in the ring. Steve-O catches him a full body slam. The referee calls for the bell, but it was obvious here. Steve-O had him. Steve-O had the stopper. He had well, there was certainly no question about it, and you can hear by the cheers of the crowd here at the Television Sports Arena. Steve, I think uh, they certainly joined me in feeling that you should be, in fact, the national uh, champion. Well, you know, Gordon, when I was a national TV champion, they came out and challenged me to a match, and I gave it to them. Well, when it came time to, to reciprocate there, I came out and challenged him for his title. I had him going. I, you can see I had him in the airplane spin. It's been my pet hold. I've won many a match with it. Well, Carson knew this. Carson, once I got in there, he tried to come in the ring to break it up. Well, you saw what happened to him. We got by the ropes. Carson deliberately pulled me off him to save his man from a three count and deliberately tried to attack me from behind after that. I just had a, I, I just had to see eyes behind the back of my head. I saw him, but I just felt the whole time, you know, I knew I had to watch out for Carson, and I knew he was going to try to do something, and he did, and I was ready for him. 
You know, well, obviously the, the thing is, though, that Carson accomplished what he wanted to accomplish. He kept the national championship on the stomper. Well, you know, he's done this many times, many times uh, in the Omni, throughout the country, and on national television. He's done this. He saved the title for him, which just, uh, it isn't fair. You have to have an equalizer when you have Carson around. There's no question about that. Right now, before we talk any further, let's turn to the American Dream stardust himself, Dusty Rhodes. He has some very special words. You know, the Lennon Omni has seen the American dream rise to the occasion. They've seen a modern day gladiator do what nobody else does like it. You might not be in agreement with the way it does. Now the stomper is facing a bad situation. And the situation is the national championship title at stake. The American dream, the stumper, and the omni. And I got something for you. I got a surprise that's going to make your eyes water, your knees weak, and your liver quiver, Jack. Because in the omni, that title going to belong to the American dream. I got a surprise for you coming up. And there's a surprise coming up, Steve. Well, you know, the surprise is, is that I will be in Dusty Rhodes' corner. I will be sitting down there in a chair to watch Don Carson. As Don Carson interfered and cost me the National Heavyweight Championship, I can't stand by to see him do it to somebody like Dusty Rhodes. Dusty Rhodes deserves a fair chance, and I'm going to sit in that corner to make sure that I can do all I can to make sure that he gets a fair chance to wrestle. Fair enough, and I might point out right now, tickets are on sale at the Sports Arena till 9 tonight and 4 tomorrow afternoon.